What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I want to show you a pretty unique set, and since it is already retired in some countries and sold out in others on lago.com, this might be your last chance to get it before the price starts skyrocketing. This is the 10261 Creator Expert roller coaster. It's super fun and it's truly massive. First of all, even the box is huge. It has 4124 pieces and the official price is $380 or 330 euros. You can still buy it around that price if you are quick and lucky. There are 11 minifigures in the box, including staff members and visitors as well. I did not record the building process this time, as it is not really exciting. I won't lie, it is pretty repetitive like half of the time. You need to build all these supporting columns, but on the other hand, it's a nice experience to see this structure growing and to study how everything comes together. It also has a fair amount of functional technic components that are definitely worth a check. The site provides plenty of opportunities to place the minifigs or to play with them, there are tons of details. At the entrance there's a ticket booth with nice printed tiles as tickets, and on the other side, on your way out, you can purchase the funny photos made during the ride. The guy selling the tickets is apparently works for LEGO by the way. As you walk in there's a nice lane with flowers and a small fountain, a juice stand, then a high chart to see if you are allowed to enjoy the ride. Figs can walk up the stairs to the entrance, there are some signs warning them what is not allowed on the roller coaster, and here are the gates and the operator lady. There are more details around the base of the structure, such as the cotton candy cart, trees, the map, a nice bench, a little pond with a frog, or a hat that was lost during the ride. As you see, the set does not focus only on the roller coaster experience itself, there are tons of subtle details scattered all around the build. Now let's see how it works. There are two trains with a slightly different color scheme, each has three cars. There's a clever structure to park one of the trains when it is not in use, you can simply grab the handle and pull it out to put the train in action. The control is pretty simple. You use the crank handle in the middle to launch the train, but for that you need to pull out the handle on the left. That pushes the wheel against the side of the train and makes it move. The same wheel can be used to stop the train at the boarding station, otherwise it will go around fully to reach the climb. There's a clever Technic assembly inside, definitely worth to check. When the train reaches the chain, you need to use the crank handle on the right to pull the train all the way up using the chain. You can easily follow the mechanism from the crank all the way to the chain using some gears to make the process faster. Once it reaches the top, the same mechanism will push the train around the corner using the wheels on the sides. The whole construction is pretty ingenious, rubber bands and UV joints ensure the flexibility required. And the train is ready to be launched. The ride is impressively fast, and if everything goes well, it should reach the bottom of the climb again, ready to be cranked up. The alignment of the whole structure is quite important. You need to make sure everything is in place, otherwise you will hear cracks here and there, and the train might also need a little push to reach the bottom of the climb again. You can of course launch two trains at the same time, just make sure there's enough space between them. Manual operation is fun, but the set has another trick. You can use the hub, the motor and the color and distance sensor from the boost set to automate the process. Installation is super simple, everything is prepared for the components, it really takes only a minute or two. Once installed, you need to fire up the boost app and create a project that is designed for the roller coaster. It's very simple, but gives you some nice sound effects as well. Here's how the system works. The sensor detects the train and it will run the motor for a certain amount of time, enough for the train to climb up and to be launched from the top. Once the train reaches the bottom, the whole process starts again, you only need to sit back and watch the show. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is quite a unique set and tons of fun to play with. The building process might not be the most exciting one, but you will definitely respect all the design and engineering that went into this. The end result is massive and totally worth to explore. It was released before the new wave of 18 plus craziness kicked in, but it's definitely aimed for adult builders, although kids will love the end result and gives you plenty of playing possibilities. There's one big challenge, 
it is really enormous. So I strongly suggest to use something as a base. Otherwise, it's impossible to pick it up and uh, move it around. Please let me know your thoughts about this set. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap that notification bell if you don't want to miss my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.